in my previous video, I showed you the mechanism behind why ACE inhibitors can be renal protective in diabetic patients. In this scenario, I'm going to explain how ACE inhibitors can cause renal failure. So we're going to start with looking at the glomerulus again. And you have the afferent and the efferent arterial. Now in this scenario, your starting point is a low flow state into the kidney. So that may mean you have, uh, de you're dehydrated, maybe you have shock, but in any situation where there's going to be low flow going into the kidney, which means there's really low pressure in the glomerulus, as opposed to our diabetic patient where the starting scenario was a high pressure in the kidney. So in this scenario, you start with a low pressure in the kidney, low flow going through, and again, angiotensin II works at the efferent arterial. If you were to give an ACE inhibitor, you effectively block angiotensin II, cause the same vasodilation as before, but now you're dropping the pressure even more and causing renal failure. So this is why if you were going to start a patient on an ACE inhibitor, you want to make sure that they are well hydrated and not dehydrated for fear of causing renal failure.